Hello students and friends. Let's welcome back. Today I would like to show you how to attach various kind of documents to the sales order or delivery or billing. Let me try to show you for sales order. So you can able to attach your PDF documents, your Excel documents and your Word documents and your notepad, whatever it may be. So generally what happens whenever you create a sales order, you would like to send some note okay, for your customer. You can able to send it or else some other any important legal document, not only creating the SAP sales document, some attached document supposed to be needed. Uh, for example, you are uh, like, you know, uh, into pharmaceutical industry. Okay, apart from your sales order creation printout, you would like to send some instructions like you know what is the advantages and disadvantages of misutilization of particular drug actually in such a cases you will send a pdf in the similar way gold whatever the value item if you take you will send uh, some kind of important matter from your kind company said either it may be in the form of pdf or excel or word or notepad you can able to attach it today we are going to see how to do this so let's go back to the sap okay so now you can see if I create a sales order, okay, let's enter the sales area, press enter. See here in this corner, one button will be available. This is S4 HANA 2020 sales order screen. But if you go for ECC, if you go any SAP software for that matter, if you'd like to attach any document, so some button will be available, okay. That is called a GOS, General Object Services, GOS object. Okay. How to activate this GOS object? Before that, let me try to add one transaction. What is the transaction? If you come here, let me make a note it down. The transaction is SU3. This is basically basis transaction. Okay. So SU01 underscore D. Okay. SU1, all these are like you know basis transaction for creating the user. Okay, for example, you are accessing SAP system. How you are accessing? Because the user got created with the username and password. In a similar way, you have some profile, like how you how you have profile for your Gmail and Facebook. In the similar way, SAP also you will have a profile for user to access the system. Okay, let's come here. Now put SU3. Okay. SC3 is the transaction. Okay, if you come here, there is a section called parameters. Okay, in this parameter, you have to add certain parameter to activate that cause object. What is that parameter? Let's take this is the parameter. Let's copy this. So this is available in internet also. There is nothing to worry. Okay, so the parameter value should be. So let me cut this. Okay, so let's come to the SAP screen again. Okay, so you can copy this. Okay, activating, you have to put the capital X, any parameter. This is always usable. Like, you know, certain parameters, if you don't assign here, you are not able to access certain transaction. If you see in standard, what it happens, activate workflow box for VA02 and VA03. That means change and a display mode, you can able to access that GOS button. But what we have to do for, okay, a user or job change. This is my user, it is got saved. So what you have to do this, okay. Let me open SU3 again for your reference. Come to the parameters simply you have to activate this one like any parameter either basis or you can able to self yourselves to activate it okay don't see all these parts this is three is the transaction now come va01 press center okay so all these are the warning messages if you see you are not able to see any cause button okay so but it will it will come your change or display mode okay so what we have to do for creation mode i will explain that later let's try to fill 
all the required fields okay now to generate incomplete log okay so so india okay so like let's put this right okay let's come back so let's try to enter test goss okay i'm just keeping this one let's try to save this skill set so let's go and edit probably like you know i would like to enter net value okay so we'll set up this pricing also soon press enter let's come back and save okay so now sales order 150 has been saved now go to the change mode va02 okay now you can able to see see the button this is the service object button they will call it as if you click here this button okay if any already attachments are there you will have this button will be activated now i would like to create an attachment so i would like to add create note or create attachment let's click this create attachment okay my desktop okay let me try to add one sample document okay so this is sales order one i am attaching so generally it depends on the system speed and uh, it, uh, the kind of attachment see now attachment was successfully created now if you come here see automatically attachment list activated see this is attach okay with today's date if i click this you can able to see the attachment you can able to add excel or word document whatever you want it if you are trying to add big file it will take some time but otherwise it's okay so this is the sales order we have created okay so i'm just this is a sample document like that you can add any note any note any document you can able to add so sales order output actually it is generated based on the configuration and pdf but if you want other general documents, you cannot able to do everything in output determination. But you need some other additional documents also. So this is the difference. If you are working in real time, you will come to know all these kind of, uh, you know, simple tips. Of course, uh, you can able to learn. It's not a big deal. So let's save this sales order. Okay. So when I open, again, in my display mode okay so now my order is in display mode so let's come here click on attachment list okay i can able to access it in display mode also suppose if you are giving for any user in display mode we can able to do the this thing okay this is how you have to do the parameter activation and try to attach the documents now let's come here the critical doubt so now we can able to do this one VA02 and VA03. Answer is on the board only. So for VA01, what they will do in real time system? Okay. They will activate this SAP node. <coughs> so that so we saved and went to change mode and VA02 and attach. Not required. But creation itself, you can able to do this. For this, you have to do with the help of basis or else yourself. If you have an access, you have to implement this SAP node. This is all about how to attach documents to sales documents. The similar way you can do for your billing also. So let's come here. I'd like to tell. So, so currently, so this is SAP SD sales and distribution in plain English course is there. This is almost... Uh, got positive reviews around 64 hours if you'd like to learn field by field you can go through it and some other courses available like you know pricing it is eight hours course say total 16 hours so this is 64 hours 140 lectures okay this will be updated in future again and again apart from the 64 hours we'll try to bring the new more concepts for this course in a similar way i have few other courses also available on S4 HANA, FSEO credit management, and you know, business processes. If someone have doubts in stock transfers, they can able to learn all these courses. They can able to access this course. And future, I would like to add few other courses also on S4 HANA SD 
that is that might be going to hit another couple of months if you'd like to utilize an opportunity for learning you will be able to do it okay so this is brief about my profile so currently i'm having a double two three two students and two seven five three enrollments till today so if anybody wanted they can able to utilize this opportunity thanks for session thanks a lot